everybody a SOG Sunday shop talk didn't really get into SOG knives today I apologize I really didn't get too much into knives at all I started this morning to do a couple of little repairs in the house and I just stopped I just stopped and just thought this is Sunday I'm gonna take a break and originally last Sunday if you remember I was gonna do this Sunday I was gonna show about six or eight SOG knives I was gonna put on my turntable I got a little turntable with a backdrop. It's a black backdrop, if you haven't seen it. It has a 3D SOG skull in the back. And that thing just rotates around. And that's all I was going to do, play music. I say a word, just put the name of the knife on it, on the video, and let it just show and tell. That's what I was going to do. Anyway, today I decided to come out here. I played around. Uh, I was, this is the barrel rod. Uh, and Stryker and Batwood, everything that Chrisville USA got me. Is that cool? You can see where I threw a couple of sparks with this the other day. It's, everything's just too dry, so I didn't really get into it. He's got these. I wanted to do a demonstration. Uh, just a fantastic gift and just a heck of a barrel rod, man. I tell you nice wooden handle i just didn't uh i don't want to do it i didn't want to get into it today because everything's so dry i did make a slip finally for my last brother folding knife i love brother folding knives okay this is the 1503 uh cf cowfish it's a lot back it's vg10 steel satin finish carbon fiber is that nice I have quite a few brother knives, a lot more than I thought I had, and I have several fixed blade knives, and brother is on top, man. It's fantastic knives, they're razor sharp, it's very classy. I was going to do a black slip on it, and so I did. And then I realized when I made that, that's so close to the big lighter uh, size. But even so, I t this took me 30 minutes. I got it down to where I can do this. I'm a rookie now. The guys that really are into the leather works, they put some time and their craftsmanship is incredible. This is just a rookie sod grunt slip and it just protects my knives in the drawer and I enjoy it, I really do. I enjoy it, I can, I can actually sit down and do the stitching, you know what I mean? So I got into that. Uh, played around with this, not much. What it was is I, I washed out the sheath. I'm still getting a little bit of that oil right there. You see it? I washed it out with soap and water. Yes, I did. Um, check it out. I didn't show that yesterday. It's got a drainage hole. This is the Cold Steel Republic made in USA. Linen micarta. Isn't that cool? Just a fantastic knife. Um, Made in USA, beautiful sheath. I had a lot of oil in it yesterday and it was driving me nuts because I like that really dry look micarta. And you see right there where it got dark and has that finish. I'm not really into the finished micarta. Some people put a finishing on it, makes it smooth. I like the raw. But I did make the sheath, uh, it actually comes out easier. This morning I was having trouble pulling that out. The last time that happened to me pulling a knife out was about two years ago. I forgot, I won't name the brand. I remember the brand now, but I'm not gonna name it. But I ended up slicing my finger, eight stitches, went up to my VIP room at Urgent Care, went right into my room and got eight stitches. Yep, sure did. But yeah, this is uh, this is awesome. I, it's S35 VN steel, CPM S35 VN steel, USA made. I took the scales apart. We the people is inscribed right across there inside the whole thing. I think that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. Maybe I can do a cutting on it. But then I went to my drawer and I wanted to pick out two of my favorite one fold my favorite folding sog knife my favorite fixed blade knife now my all-time favorite i can't explain this the vision xr limited series number 333 is special to my heart it's it's irreplaceable it's it's off on its own 
And same with the SOG Forge, that sand by Seki Japan that's in my little display box. Uh, that's off on its own. Those are, I won't even rate those. Those are untouchable. Those are like by themselves. But just going right down to my knife chest, I picked out my favorite fixed blade knife. And actually when I Google to get some more information on it, I have too many videos on this. It's like an overkill. And I'll show you that in a second. But I'm going to show you the folding knife first. This is the tooth lock. Nice snappy action. Partial serrated. This is BG10 Sanmai. Okay, second Japan. Check out the scales. Deep pocket carry. Serrations. Satin finish. Just beautiful. This you can still find. Uh, at one time, and I still might, I'm not sure, but at one time, I was going to get a second one to actually carry. But I didn't, and so this one is in my collection drawer. That's the SOG Tooth Lock. And you can find these at a reasonable price. Uh, just got to search for them. Okay, this one's very rare, and you see me do this a lot of times. It's the SOG. X42 Recondo fixed blade knife. And I got a little bit more information to share with you. Look at this, this is old school SOG, man. Check that out. So Tonto Blade. Uh, they use the uh, BG-42 steel on it as a satin finish. Partial serrated Zytel handle with a pattern for grip. This is a wicked blade, folks. This is my all-time favorite. One year later, after they put this out, they came with the black tinny finish. And I actually missed out on that one. After I got this one, I missed out on the black tinny. Had I got that black tinny, I would have gotten it and actually used it. Because this is like the ultimate fighting knife for me. This is a great, this is the ultimate self-defense. It really is. Now, right here is, uh, it says, uh, SOG USA BG-42 Steel RC60. Right here. And on this side is the X42 Recondo. All right. Absolutely beautiful knife. And then I forgot about telling this one time. Uh, in the year 2000, so this was put out here. It only had to run for like a year. A year or two maybe. I think two years because the second year they came out with the black tenny but in 2000 they switched from the bg42 steel okay they switched it to the s30v steel because of cost and the hardness so i didn't know that so in 2000 uh they came this changed to s30v steel that's why this is a rare one I'm holding in my hand. Even the S30V, this whole, this knife, the X42 Recondo is a rare piece, okay? And like I said, this is the uh, BG42 steel one. And then in 2004, they discontinued it all together. So this is hard to come by. I've got it, it stays in my collection drawer. I say this is old school because this was, uh, this was actually designed for the uh, a Recondo graduates, for the Recon Special Operations. Uh, yep. So, that's pretty awesome. It's three o'clock. Those are my SOG knives for SOG Sunday. I apologize, I'm not throwing. Uh, it's way too hot. But thanks for letting me share, and I'll get back into it. Because I'm going back to the 8 to 12 work hours. I'm not going to push myself anymore. That was fun. I was doing 8 to 12 my job and then piddle. Yep. Okay, y'all take care. I hope you had a great weekend. Those who are heading back home or where you might be going, stay safe. And I hope everybody has a good week. Okay, y'all take care and sog out. And no, I don't know where my remote is. Sog out.